Welcome back, guys. This is Jake from Jake's Offshore Adventures, and uh, we're hopping right in the water on this episode. Um, gonna give you guys a little background here. We are diving off the coast of Naples. We're about 70 miles offshore. Um, we have to go this far just to get deep. Um, we're in 130 feet right now, and today's goal is to get Chris on his first red grouper. So I loaded up the guns, and as you can see, there's not too much down here in the Gulf as reef-wise. Um, in the Keys, it's different. You know, you can pretty much drop anywhere and uh, land on structure. Um, but here in the Gulf, you kind of got to drive around and mark spots that are the size of your living room couch or maybe smaller. Um, so pretty much we're out, we're driving around, we uh, caught a few fish, and uh, we found the spot and we decided to hop in on it to try to find Chris's red grouper. So right here I actually see a grouper and uh, it, it looked like a red at first, but then I realized it was a gag and told Chris, don't shoot it. Gag grouper aren't in season right now while we're in the Gulf. So unfortunately we weren't able to harvest that. But as you can see here, there's actually another gag right there in that hole and a Goliath grouper. And uh, we didn't really see any reds um, right off the bat. And uh, you could see actually that gag grouper was running away from something. And I looked behind and Chris shot at it. Um, thankful he, thankfully he missed, but um, this is something that uh, beginner spear fishermen have issues with is identifying fish. So it's always good to follow your guide and uh, let him point out the fish to you. Um, red grouper aren't very smart. They're actually pretty territorial over their holes, so they don't really like to move where they're at. So that makes them pretty easy to hunt. So like the good brother I am, I reload his gun and uh, we continue looking around this area. Um, today we actually had really good visibility, the best I've ever seen in the Gulf. It was actually like 60 foot of viz towards the surface and when we got down we had a good 40 foot of viz. So um, it was really good conditions to swim around and look. Usually you drop down and it's so murky where you have no bearing to go to a new area where you drop so you kind of have to just come up. Um, but we were able to swim around, so we're swimming around, and as you can see, it's pretty much sand land, so I'm just swimming in a general direction and hoping to find something else. So I decided to change directions right here. I could see that there really wasn't anything in front of us. So I um, decided to head the other way. And uh, we're coming up to this little structure right here. And right here I can see a red grouper rolling to that rock. So it was perfect opportunity for Chris to shoot his first red grouper. So we decided to celebrate a little too early and gave each other nucks and this fish actually started to freak out and almost flopped off the shaft. I really should have put my hand on the other side of that fish when he first shot it and uh, then gave him nucks after it was secured but um, we are pretty excited he got his first red grouper. Um, so the day was off to a good start and uh, now I could start shooting some fish. So fast forward in our dive a little bit, we're just swimming around and uh, you know decided to scan the area a little bit more to see if we find any more fish and couldn't really find too much and uh, I decided to head back to where I saw that Goliath grouper. There were a couple small reds when we checked it again and I knew one of them was legal so I decided to go back and uh, shoot that fish before we went up.
So we went up, did our safety stop, and came to the surface, and our dad was right there to pick us up. And uh, this is actually his 31-foot regulator, super nice boat. And it's actually our first time diving off of it since he bought it um, up in Naples. So it was pretty cool to get some first fish on his boat. Hey, I could have, your bro puts you on your first, is that your first red grouper? Yeah. All right. His brother put him on his first red and his first black. It's a nice red tip. Donnie. Yeah, Chris shot his first. That's Chris's first red. All right, so we're back in on our next dive, and this spot was actually really cool. It was full of life. I think the bottom was about 135 feet. And uh, we're on our way down here, and as you can see, we got that tiny little string we're following down. Like I said, we go over the spot and throw that string attached to a weight, and at the surface, there's a buoy to mark it, and uh, we don't anchor, and we just hop right on it. Another really nice gag right there in the sand. So sad we couldn't shoot those today. I really wanted to get some of those. I really haven't shot too many gags before, so um, it was pretty cool getting to see a lot of them, but not cool not being able to shoot them. And uh, right here, we're dropping down on the spot, getting a little closer, and it's just like a little ledge, and there's a ton of bait. As you can see, there's big mangroves and big grouper right there. And uh, I knew Chris was pretty antsy to shoot some more, and he was pointing at them, but I didn't know if he was shooting, wanted to shoot the, uh, the mangrove or the red, so I load up one band and shine my light in here and Chris had already started to go to the other side so I decided to take the shot on this red. You really never know how deep these ledges go here in the Gulf so I let go of my gun there and was really trying to get a hold of that line to pull that fish out. Um, before we got too caught up in there. Chris is over there looking for that other red. It was borderline, and uh, it actually ended up tucking back up into the ledge. It was probably legal, but we, we left it there. Um, we didn't really end up shooting too much more after this dive, but wanted to show you guys this spot because it was really cool, just loaded with life. Um, and definitely one of the cooler spots I've dove here in the Gulf. So we swam around a little bit more, uh, trying to see if we can find any other structure, and we didn't, but we ran across this really big gag group where I was pointing it out to Chris, and. He started to swim towards it like he wanted to shoot it, but I was telling him no. Um, but still super cool to see those big gags down here. We don't really get to see them too often in the Keys. So we swam back over to this ledge. Um, just wanted to check it out one more time. It was really cool. Um, lots of bait, big mangroves. We really didn't need any more meat, so we left the mangroves. But. Uh, Super cool to check this spot out. I was actually checking out that other red grouper down there. Um, was thinking about shooting him, but he was just on the border and um, he went up deep into that ledge. I didn't really want to throw my shaft up in there, but still really cool to see down there and cool to dive different areas. Mm -mm. 
So right now, I'm checking my, my times and stuff, and it was time to go up, so I told Chris, let's go up. And uh, we went up and did some more fishing, and then we uh, checked out one more spot, and uh, I'll show it to you guys right here. So this next spot, it was really weird. Like I said, it's kind of hard to find spots. You mark a lot of bait on the screen and then you jump down and there's nothing. Um, so this was kind of one of those spots. We marked a lot of bait and we jumped down and there's just like a lot of grass, but there happened to be one nice red grouper right here. And I'll slow this clip down for you because I actually end up missing this red grouper or hitting it. I don't really know. Um, but I lined up, took that shot, and I think what happened was my shaft hit the fish and hit the rock behind it and didn't go all the way through the fish and it slid right back out. Um, but here, I'll slow it right down for you guys right now. Still don't know what happened to that grouper. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Would love to hear what you think happened to that grouper. Um, but it was a good day. We caught our groupers already and my dad caught a really big one rod and reel. Uh, his friend caught one rod and reel. So overall, really good day. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, Diving in the Gulf. I don't really get to do it too much, so it was pretty cool to share it with you guys. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.